Right now, Providence police officers and security teams are standing by the Dunkin' Donuts Center. They're ready and waiting to screen the hundreds of people expected to attend tonight's foam party. The event is taking place just one week after several college students attending a similar party at the Roxy were sent to the hospital. Highway to Sioux reporter Marilyn Scherer is there now live in the capital city. Mike, we are live outside the dunk where several ambulances are already beginning to arrive. Now, there is a concern about medical conditions due to the recent uh, past of where people were sent to the hospital after having some uh, reuse with drugs and alcohol. And as a result, tonight they're taking extra precautions. Set up for a foam party was underway at the Dunkin' Donuts Center Friday, but the foam isn't what's attracting all the attention. Police and management of the dunk are concerned about the use of the Molly drug and alcohol binge drinking that may occur at the Barstool Blackout Tour. Unfortunately, there is uh, always a handful that cause some type of problems and like to experiment with either too much drinking or uh, drug use. Larry Lapore, the general manager of the Dunkin' Donuts Center, says close to 4,000 college students will dance to DJ music while foam is shot from a gun. Extra security and Providence police officers are scheduled. We'll be aggressive. We'll be aggressive outside with uh, police uh, presence and uh, certainly outside it. Probably is not going to be a good night for any drug dealers in Providence. No matter what happens, Lapore says they're ready to handle it. Uh, we're going to be prepared. You know, we're going to have a physician here, almost 15 EMTs, and we're going to get them the uh, proper medical attention that they're going to need. And you can see that police officers and security are already beginning to assemble outside the dunk. Now, the dance party starts at 7 o'clock, so a little less than an hour from now, and it's expected to go until about midnight. Now, we did reach out to the promoter of the event, both via email and telephone, and he did not return our calls or our emails. That's the very latest. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shara, Eyewitness News.